Okay, so I've been watching this and I see that assigning oxidation numbers just creeped into the into the list, okay? At 16%. So oxi assigning oxidation numbers. Let's and I've already prepared uh, the whiteboard with that. Assigning oxidation numbers. Um, there's several rules, and really, I recommend that you stop and read this explanation. You got to do it because it's a really thorough explanation. It's definitely going to be more clear than than my uh, my explanation. So, but I'm going to I'm going to try to go in the same order in which uh, in which Alex goes and say he starts out with or they start out with uh, saying that try to figure out. So we're we're supposed to say the oxidation is at this hydrogen of all you know of that hydrogen of that copper of that sulfur. Okay. Try to figure out, the first rule is, if the atom is part of uh, an atomic ion. Well, that's clearly an atomic ion. And if it is part of an atomic ion, then it's simply going to be the charge of the ion. Okay? So that's plus one. All right? Second rule is, I think these are in the same order. Second rule is, find out if the atom is part of a, a molecule that has nothing other than that element in it right so it's going to be a homo nuclear molecule okay so you see that h2 if that's the case it's going to be zero all right and then uh gosh then all 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 uh all heck breaks loose okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to and you you need to you need to read this explanation because it's going to say there's lots of things that we know for sure but ultimately we have to take advantage of the fact that we know that if the species is neutral then whatever this oxidation state is, it's going to have to be the opposite of that, right? Because they're going to be neutral together, okay? So, and there's another rule in there, and that is that oxygen typically likes to take on a minus two. So let's do this here. I'm going to put it in black. C-U-O. Let's come over here and do this in red. Oxygen likes to have a minus two, okay? And we still know that we still know that um, it's going to be zero toll, all told, right? So minus two. So whatever copper is, it's got to go with minus two to make zero. And can you see it's plus two? Okay. So there's only one co copper atom in here. So we'll divide that plus two out over all of those. There's only one. So that's going to be plus two. All right. Now let's do sulfur. Another good example. This one's going to be a little more elaborate. SO4, okay? And uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through here and we're going to say, all right, we know that everything together is going to have to sum to zero. These are going to be minus two each. So that's going to be a total of minus eight, right? Now I know sulfur all, I know sulfate. SO4, two minus. That's an equal sign right there. That's what sulfate is, right? So this must be 2 plus, right? You see that? So this is going to be 2 plus. So these two have got to sum, this all has to sum together to give a 0. And can you see that that's going to have, be, have to be a plus 6? Right. So that plus 6, I'm going to take that plus 6 and spread it out over all the sulfur atoms. Well, there's only one. So that's going to be plus 6. And there's my answer, plus 6. All right, you're going to need to do a bunch of those before you like it. So go back and read that explanation. Read those rules carefully and apply the rules uh, one by one. All right, good luck.